here. We got him. Oh, how did I win that? Woo. Oh my gosh. That was like getting put through the freaking meat grinder. Oh my God. I'm like, my hands are shaking. Okay, here we go. Hello, little crayfish. Oh, Polterak. Yeah, I know who that is. Let's play. Let's play the Narrowcon. Um, I can take with the knight and sack the pawn, but I'm gonna take with the queen. Okay, clearly he knows this very well. I think if he castles, I'm gonna sack. Okay, knight c5. Okay, we could go into a slightly better end game, probably. I'm gonna keep the queens. Okay, he's just a fast player. I don't think this is theory. Hmm. Could go C4. Could go C5. Yeah, let's go C5. You, ah, crap, he wants to be six. That's not good. Hmm. Okay, let's throw this in. Okay, let's try to prevent b6. We need to keep this pawn alive so I can clamp on his position. Knight d5. Okay, I'm trying to prevent b6. He plays it anyway. Okay, he takes to the knight. That's kind of good for me to see. Okay, queen c7. No, rook bc, it doesn't work. Let's go back to e5. I'm definitely better, but I don't know if I can win this. We'll see. Rook fc, I have some tactics. Yeah, bishop c6, knight c6, rook c6, queen takes rook check. And I win the exchange. I'm threatening... I don't know exactly what I'm threatening. I guess I'm threatening rook takes b6, but... Mm, it's a little bit messy. It's a little bit Lionel. Can't figure out what I'm threatening here. Bishop d7, knight d7. A little bit worried about bishop e8. I guess I can just drop back to e4. Keep my extra pawn. With a decent position. Could also push the pawn up to c4 at some point. Okay, now he started to think. Queen d8, okay. Hmm. Lots of feeling options here. I don't want to go rook b6. Because then he goes rook b6. Bishop d7, rook c2. Queen f3 is interesting also. Yeah, let's try queen f3. If, okay, f6. Wait, but now. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what that was, but. I guess he was hoping for a pre-move. I mean, actually, knight c6 would still be winning. I'm not hungover, no. 
I'm just still getting over a little bit of an illness. I did have a Guinness yesterday, but I don't think... Or I had half a Guinness. Can you get hungover from half a Guinness? No, I... I just had a glass. Papua New Guinness. Some of my worst hangovers have been beer hangovers, though. What's up, Eric? Thank you for the sub. I remember... Okay, I have a funny story, but I will share it after this game. Yeah, Rook AD1, everybody knows this. Okay, Bishop H6, I don't know. Hmm, I need to think. I think my preferred non-hangover drink is vodka soda. It's probably the least hangover inducing. Thank you, kiddo DZ. I'm gonna go at five here. Bishop G5, Queen D7. No, 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 no. Bishop G5. Bishop G5, Bishop E4, Bishop E4, Bishop F2, Queen F2, Queen G5, Bishop G5. We'll get it. Hmm. I don't want to take with a pawn, but I'm not sure. <sighs> take with a bishop. Fe maybe. I don't want to go ninety four. Yeah. Wait, shoot! I blundered B four. That's not good. B4, ah, maybe I have queen f6, though. No, I'm in trouble. I stumbled into a really, really bad position. plays accurately. Yeah, these CMs are uh, pretty dangerous. My only hope at this point is time pressure. Yeah, he blundered. That was pathetic. <laughs> he just resigns. I don't know. I never understand when these players they they, they navigate the uh, incredibly tricky tactical waters per perfectly, and then they blunder a one move tactic. Like it's completely winning. If he goes rook f four, I think it's not over completely, but it's basically over. That's the Danya effect, I guess. It's still not, if he takes c7 and goes bishop d4, it's still not so clear. Couldn't you capture the bishop, but 
No, but I win the rook that way. No, I can't capture the bishop. He has queen c7. Yeah, queen c7. Queen d4 is bad. Queen f7 is best. Is the only good move. Here he has queen c7 and, and he has a bit a bunch of pawns for the rook. Thank you, NR90. So no, this is only the only accurate move. Sephikila. I was not invited, Gen moves. Um Can I look at knight d3? Sure. I didn't see the difference. I thought knight d3 was the same thing. I didn't see the difference. Oh, I had maybe knight e5. But where did I go wrong? Like, I don't understand. I was better, I thought. So the move here apparently is... I'm just supposed to take everything on e4. Essex is a chimney h3 pieshka bill. Я просто опасался хода c5. Сиди и ферзь c4 какие. Все-таки король под атакой. I thought f takes e4 creates a stronghold. I just forgot that b4 wins the plan. Yeah, I just, I just blanked on this move. And now I'm busted. Yeah, a, a title player would have beaten me. No, rookie six, queen e6. Desperado. No, he's already in trouble here. Okay, I mean, he was 20, 2500 and I was 2620, so... We're playing... I think we're playing Peter. No, Dimitris Makridis. Sapila. Para cuando un stream español? No sé, señor. No tengo cojones de para para. All right, let's see. What do we do here? I play this with black, and now I don't remember what to do with white. I've had Greek food the last three days, so I've gotten obsessed with this like, place here that has the best freaking hero. Yet. Okay, why do I have the chat open? I should be focused. It's called El Greco. Or no, gr just Greco. It's a chain. Okay, I'm getting outplayed. I thought maybe I can play F3 here. Okay, let's try it. What? Oh my gosh, she wants F4, really? Who plays King H8 in that position? <laughs> okay, fine. I don't get it. I don't, I don't mind. I'm just trade freaking queens. I think I'm over the, over the hump here. Ninety six, yeah, that's what I thought he would do. Okay, rook f seven is very tempting, but then king g eight, he chases my rook away. I don't know if I'll be able to convert this. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go C3, stopping knight D4. The issue is his knights are really good here. Yeah, this is not that good for me. I'm gonna go bishop H3. Rook F. B6. I need a blunder. Oh my gosh, my phone rang and now I'm wondered. Yeah, sorry. Got a little distracted and now I made a blunder. Okay, this is virtually over. But I have some counterplay. Hmm. I can go knight g6, knight h5 now, f6 maybe. Why don't I see anything here? Knight g6 is almost made. He's got knight h7. Let's try it. This time management has been superior to me to mine. Knight g8 is a draw, I think. Okay, there's knight h5. No. Nope, I gotta make a draw, sorry. Oh, he has rook g3, maybe. Yeah. I'm actually better here. Oh, king f4 I should play. That's a hard move, though. Yeah, it's equal, basically. No, of course I should win this if I go king f2, king g3. Yeah, that was a very bad blunder. No, rook f8, the square was defended. Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah, just wondering that F3. And it's so close to being made, but somehow he's just easily surviving. He can go knight d7, apparently he's better. But... No, rook g3 loses, but he saw that. King h4. That's a trap. No, King H7 loses. He he played perfectly here. He didn't he didn't fall for a single trick. And okay, 2550, we should be able to win. But he's on three out of three. And he beat okay, he beat a 2700, so nothing special. Okay, d4, that's the annoying line. Yep. <laughs> People just know what to play these days. People know what to play these days. Let's go g6 and bishop g7. I'm gonna induce 95 and go back.
The issue with these positions is they're very hard to win. They're very hard to win. If white, if white is solid, of course. Like if, if white does not do anything stupid, it's going to be very hard to unbalance the game. I don't really know why I play the Karo against 25-50. Um, so far he's playing pretty flawlessly. Let's go B5. Expand on the queen side maybe. Yeah, he's just playing. Okay, we gotta go H5. I can't allow H5. This is a classic title Tuesday game, actually. Just outmatched. Yeah, that opening choice is a big mistake. It's just too easy to play for white, unfortunately. to go e6. I have to be careful not to lose my bishop, obviously. There's a distinct possibility the way I'm playing it. Yeah, he's gonna go bishop d3. Hey, how do I save my bishop? There must be a way. Frick, you found the move. Wait, I have an idea. Yeah, I think I got the right idea here. Yeah, we got him. That's a good calculation there. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. I didn't panic there in, in a worse end game. Yeah, he blundered, he blundered uh, rook takes h4 and rook h8. But rook h8 was a really good move because if he had gone g3, then I would have gotten the f3 square. So it would have been playable. Thank you, Austin Castles. Okay, big we, important win here to get us into decent score. All right, pretty solid start. Yeah, rook h8 already I'm better actually, interestingly. Because if he goes g3, he gives me the f3 square. And then, yeah, this is lost. I was worried when he found f3, but g3 is super strong. Yeah, Sheris, thank you, barman, thank you. The opening was it's not a terrible choice. I just think I need a line against the four knights Karo. That unbalances the position because this is so hard to play for a win. If white is accurate, there's just no intrigue in the position. Okay, maybe knight d7 is not the way to go. Yeah, queen g3 is the top move actually, interesting. He played this very well. Yeah, rook a8 was a terrible move. This was this was just bad. If he had gone a4, it's plus minus. Here, queen g4 is correct. Yeah, I mean, I played pretty decently. Okay. 
Okay, we're going. Microsoft. Okay, I played. I drew him in the last title too, so he's incredibly good. Where have I been in Spain? Everywhere. And this is exactly what we had in the last game too. Russell Emo. Oh, sorry. Let me get rid of this thing. Okay, now I keep forgetting what the move is. Okay, I should have gone Queen A4. That's why they played Queen A4. Okay, so I'm already worse. It's pretty encyclopedic knowledge of the open. Your pillowcase. Maybe E five. know exactly what I'll do if he takes, I just hope he won't. Wow, I actually got him to think. That's a pretty big accomplishment. He goes Queen A4. Queen C4 makes sense here, I think. Then he takes it. Okay, rook takes a2. I don't know what I should do. Maybe rook a b1. Or should I play rook takes a2? Queen d1. Ooh, that almost traps the queen. Oh, that doesn't work. He has rook b8. I didn't see that. Mm, yeah. not over. It's far from over. Let's get this out of there. Takes in rook a7 and rook two. Okay, takes makes sense. Okay, if he takes, I take f7 and I win. Takes B 
be knight c8, knight e7 makes sense. Where's the mate? There must be a mate here. I'm just going to trust that there is a mate. Yeah, it's mate. Nice. Very nice. I mean, the patients have been running the institution for a while now. Soon there won't be any more institution. Um, let's go E4. Okay, another Rosalimo. We're playing Vladimir Zakharstov. Yeah, this is a good master from Russia, but uh, okay, a very strong player, but he has five out of five. He is very interesting because, okay, he old player, and okay. He beat Jabava Fedasev in a row, yeah, because, okay, very impressive, yeah, because he played ultra E5, yeah. Okay, to fun, okay. Yeah, this line is rare. I'm not going to go for the main line with rookie one. Yeah, takes, takes. Okay, white is slightly better here. Oh my god. White is like slightly better. Okay. Um, he takes with a pawn, which is annoying. Could go a4, bishop a3. Okay, let's go rookie. Let's play, a, let's play a neutral move. Oh, did I blunder queen a5? I did, didn't I? Ugh. I suppose I have queen b3. I forgot about queen a5. That's why you're supposed to play a4, actually. It all makes sense now. Okay, doesn't play it. It all checks out. Let's go back. Sound. Okay, no, this looks really good for me now. It could go knight e4, it could go bishop f4, it could go queen f3. There's options. Could go bishop. No, I can't go bishop a3 that drops a bishop. Okay. I don't know. This move can't be bad. This move can't be bad. Knight a5, he's very unconcerned about what's going on on the king side. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. No queen g3, maybe? Should be five. Mm -hmm. He's playing very positionally. I want to keep the pieces on the board. And then I want to go bishop f4. Knight c4. Could go bishop f4. Could threaten checkmate. Could go queen h3, h6, knight e4. He goes d5, I don't know. Okay, let's get the bishop out for now and then we'll see. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe h4 is worth playing. Now let's go h4. Let's try to press on his clock a little bit. Knight h7 here, sort of. Okay, he allows it. I guess knight h7, king h7, hg, and there's, it's a dead end. 
Hmm. Yeah, not easy. Maybe back to F3? No. Gosh, how is Knight H7 not just mating? Some black magic. I don't like this move, but I don't see an alternative, and I want to keep a time advantage. Should pay four. I can go takes an h6. I can try to play for mate there. I don't know. Let's go here. Should be three. Takes, takes, bishop c4 looks pretty good. Go here first. Oh no, I blundered the pawn. Oh, that's a rough one. Oh man, I just forgot it. The bishop was protecting it. If this was a three plus zero game, it would be over. <laughs> Should have made him. Oh, it's not mate. Ugh. And I'm missing a lot of stuff right now. Uh, it doesn't work either. Wait, maybe it does. Hmm. I'll put peace. There's Bishop H6. Oh, I blundered a professional. Ah, shoot. Traps my bishop. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost. No, it's still a draw. Unbelievable. It's still a... Oh, I'm winning. Oh, d7. Oh, d7, hg, and king h3 only move. Okay, but this is insane. King h3 wins. Everything else everything else either draws or loses. This is losing. Queen f4 is just game over. Yeah, king... I should have seen that. d7, hg, king h3. And there's no checks. The knight dominates. It's just over. I make a queen on the next move. Yeah, I just panicked in time pressure. But okay, at least I didn't... Now, of course, I outplayed him, but... Then I blundered a pawn, which was unnecessary. It says it's equal, though. I guess I, I overestimated this position in the first place. Mr. Stu thinks. No, I don't think that's findable in, in no time. It's it's about equal the entire game. Even, if, even after you blundered his bishop, it's equal. If he gives me a perpetual. Yeah, that was a game I had to win with white. That was a good pairing, too. He's not, like, insanely strong. Yeah. This is the only chance. Okay, five out of six. It's, I'm still very much in contention. At least now I'll get a manageable opponent. Oh man, we got God of the Black. Okay, goes e4, interesting. What should we play? Okay, let's play Caro. Yeah, d3. Okay, he's gonna go for the, for the popular line.
A4. Let's develop. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. I want to go bishop b4. Okay, he allows... I could take the pawn here. I, I wouldn't rule it out, but I, I feel like I'll get checkmated there, so... I'm just going to castle. Yeah, I have a nice position. Or maybe not. Maybe I should go back to e7, I don't know, and go knight c5. Okay, first I'm going to go a5. Okay, I was going to go here anyway. Obviously, I need to play for a win. I cannot afford to make another draw. Let's go bishop out. Trying to play quickly here. I want to I want to get him into time pressure. I think that's normally my best chance against Gata. So I'm playing a little faster than usual. Okay, I've got a minute on the clock, which is good. Page four. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, this is very equal. How do I unbalance the game? I'm going to try to provoke him into something. I'm going to try to provoke him into an exchange sec. Which is very risky, but I think it's my only chance to win this game. Yeah, he's definitely thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Okay, he's got under a minute now, which is good. Okay, he does go for it. Wait, 94? Is 9F7? That doesn't work. That's annoying. I think I have to go back. It's an unclear position. Here's e5. Go back. Let's go rook a. I don't know. I can also go rook f8. Hard to say. Let's go with A. I want to defend F7. Yeah, but now I'm really stuck. G4, I thought he would play. his idea. Traps my knight there. So easy. Oh, this is bad. I'm I'm going in the wrong direction here. It does take. Oh, and he gets attacked.
Yeah, I'm actually in some trouble here. It takes a draw. Wow. White is just much better. Ugh. Yeah, God is just brutal. He's so strong. I was definitely better. I, I don't know. No, he's better. Wow, I misevaluated this. Just totally misevaluated. I thought I was better. Oh, this is all very accurate. Knight takes a four is the move here, apparently. Yeah, now white is better. Knight f6 is correct. Yeah. Just very, very, very good play. I gotta, this game. Yeah, but there's an increment, so I don't know why he took a draw. It's plus one. It's plus one here. Yeah, knight a4 is totally... Okay, Jeffrey in first. Knight a4 is so inhuman. Knight c5 takes a4. Oh, and not even b5. Queen b4. Okay, yeah. And I've missed some crazy ideas thus far. Jeffrey's in first. Jeffrey's just unbelievable in title Tuesday. The consistency is crazy. Oh, I'm playing Eric. Man, Title Tuesday is brutal. And we're playing an off stream Eric, I think. Um, let's go G3. Oh, he is streaming. Okay. Okay, let's go D3. some sense. B5. I was not expecting that move. I could sack the exchange, but I don't want to. Yeah, I totally missed B5. Maybe D4, just go for the chaos. Nah, what the hell, whatever. Let's go D4. Very chaotic move, but I think it's the principled way to play. I mean, it's kind of the idea of this line to push D4. Of course, there's like a pawn sack that's involved here, but I'm gonna trust that his, his position is very flimsy. I mean, his knight is undefended. This just feels like it has to be the right move. I also have bishop f1 related to Okay, he took his time, he took. Okay, I guess bishop b7. I like the look of bishop f1. Oh, but no, it doesn't really work. I see a c4. I blundered, yeah. Blundered at c4. Okay, what do we want to do then? Maybe d5? No, this is not going the right direction, actually. I need some sort of bailout option, which I don't see at the moment. Somehow Eric playing very fast. I don't understand how he's pulling this off. Yeah, I'm just getting crushed. Gosh, brutal title Tuesday. 95 rook ad8 i'm busted so d4 was a bad call i guess okay i'm just gonna have to play a pawn down here it's 
try to hold. Let's try this move. I guess he has rookie two. There's also bishop takes okay goes bishop b4 hmm. good move probably um i need to think knight d4 no okay quitting for no oh, I, I can't figure out a move here oh my gosh okay let's go here Six. Okay, seven and IG five is interesting. mate. We got him. That was a trick that I saw when I played Bishop F7. Woo! Getting Eric. Let's go. Big win. Okay, six and a half out of eight. Good stuff. And Hikaru on six and a half out of eight as well. I might play Hikaru. It's not impossible, but it's unlikely. Yeah, we're very much in the running. There's another break here. This next game is going to be really tough. I'm going to have black against someone really good. Yeah. Not a great game. I've been, I've been really struggling to get decent positions in this title Tuesday. I'm definitely better here, but these close positions, I never really know how to play. Okay, g4 apparently is best. I played d4, which is not bad. Here apparently d5 was best I took. And now I'm worse. Yeah, I missed knight before. I thought he had to take my rook first. Yeah, now it's like minus plus. Okay, seven. Bishop b4 is best. Queen d2 is best. Rook f7 best. Yeah, rook f7 is really, really pretty. Knight h4 is best. Wow. Okay, I found some good moves. Check. Oh, now I'm worse again. If he had gone queen d6, I'm much, much worse. But Eric blundering the mate. Hikaru drew with Jeffrey. Okay. No, it's not time for Fide to go away. We're playing uh, Mossad Musadekpur. Iranian GM, he's former winner of the World Under-18 Championship. Very strong player. Okay, I've been winning with a Karakhan this tournament, so let's keep playing it. 
Hmm. I'm gonna go GF. I'm gonna go offbeat. I'm gonna go offbeat. I've been I've been winning a good amount of games with this line. Let's go Queen C seven. Knight T seven and Castle Queen side and go for the go for mate. He does have okay, Queen F three. Castle. Obviously I'm taking a tremendous risk here. And this is very bad objectively, but I'm gonna try to mate him. Okay, he wants b4. Let's go king b8. Bishop h6, okay. Yeah, my position kind of sucks actually. Gonna go knight f6. E5. Bishop h5 maybe. Okay, wait, maybe I should take first. No, let's go here. Oh, this guy's super fast. F4 is interesting. Or maybe I should take him to F4. I don't know. Let's go F4. Oh, he's got this move. Wow. What a move. Wait, Rook G6? Does that not trap the bishop? Then he can sack his knight, it's unclear. Um, yeah, let's do it. Really? Oh, queen g6. Oh my gosh, I blundered. Okay, I have to move the rook then. I mean, insane. Queen f4, queen g6. <laughs> Are you serious? And he saw that in how much time? <laughs> I guess this guy just doesn't need to think. Oh, queen c1. What? Dude, this is insane. I can see why he's... Okay, wait. Here? Okay, wait, I have, I have some chances now. to trade. I guess I have to. He's got a bunch of pawns. G6. Should G4. Maybe here. Um, 
five. Oh, I could have played Knight of Six. Oh, crap, I found it back. Oh no, here, here. We got him, oh, how did I win that? Woo, oh my gosh, that was like getting put through the freaking meat grinder. Oh my God, I'm like, my hands are shaking. But if, okay, now I'm playing Baravian. I'm playing Paravian, interesting. I, I don't know how they did those sparings. I, ah, I guess Paravian already played Duda, no, because otherwise it makes no sense. Because Paravian is the only eight out of nine, and Andraken is eight and a half, so they were supposed to play. But it is what it is. We won't, I guess we won't get Ikara this time. Okay, so let me try to remember. Bishop e7 or bishop c5? I don't remember. Maybe a5? Totally beat him. Okay, castles, h4, f6. Okay, let's go here and try to trade. Sure, I can play h5. Hmm. I can also go h6 and try to reroute. I didn't want h5, I don't want to weaken g5 like that. Let's go here and here. A little bit passive. Castle, probably I should. I'm still worse, but 
for now. There's some chances here. Knight c5 makes some sense. Then he goes queen f3. Ugh. It's actually pretty nasty. Maybe a4. Hmm, I don't know what to do. If he goes rook fc1, I guess I'll go a4. Try to prevent b3. Okay, let's play quickly. Try to prevent his b pawn from going up to b3. And then I want rook b6. Rook king g2. Okay, let's go rook b6. Okay, position is unclear, but I have a lot more time. If he goes rook b1, probably go knight e4 quickly. If he goes queen g4. Okay, wait, knight d3. No, I should go here. Oh, maybe king. Queen g was better. Take it. He takes this queen. No, wait, he doesn't. Or he does. I'm going to be up in exchange. It's not over. H4 mate. No, there's no mate there. Okay, frick it. Let's go. Got him. Big game. And Andraken's gonna beat Icaro. Andraken's gonna beat Icaro. We're gonna get Andraken. I don't see a game that's still going. Okay, Andraken, yeah. Alright, here we go. Seven and queen b6. I don't actually know this. Okay, I could play dc. Let's 
go to Q1. F6. Queen H5 is interesting. If he goes G6, that I'll go Queen E2. And I guess he'll castle. Nah, I don't love this position. Don't love this position. Bishop h6 now. Let's go here to stop b5. Bishop c6 maybe, or bishop b3. I want to take and go bishop d4 and cover the dark squares. I'm also setting a little trap if he plays e5. I'm going to take c6 and go bishop h6, and I think I win a pawn. Goes a6. If he actually wants to encourage him. Okay, I will fight. Complicated position. I'm probably not better here, but at least we got some chances. Where's your A E8? I'm gonna try to go F6 at some point. Don't plunder the bishop here, one thing, because e5 will come at some point. Bishop d8. I'm gonna go bishop e5. So solid, that's the problem. Let's go positionally. Probably a mistake. I should have gone bishop f6. Oh, and I blundered. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Yeah. Ah, sorry. Yeah, I'm just worse, obviously. Queen g3, no winning chances anymore. Oh. <clears throat> it's okay. I was better, too. No, I was not. I was worse. Minus plus here. I was sure I was better in this position, but it's just minus point two. Now it's minus one. Okay. Yeah, I was sure I was better at some point, but I didn't see exactly where. Okay, I'm slightly better. Slightly better after knight a5. And now I'm worse. Bishop d8, top engine move. Bishop e7 to d8. This maneuver. Well, I, I forgot about d4. The funny thing is, if not for d4... Um, I'm better. But okay, and Draken is super nice. No, it's not to be nice. I mean, I'm not lost here. I'm far from lost here. I can defend, but he wins the tournament, so why why risk it? Still, I'm really happy with the score. I didn't lose a single game. I'm, my, I'm gonna get screwed on the tie breaks as I always do. Um, so I'm probably gonna get seventh or eighth or something. 
because I always get screwed on the tie brakes, unfortunately. Now, now it's all about the tie brakes. Now it's all about the tie brakes. Now, of course, the ideal result would have been a draw. Oh, but then Duda would have caught me. I literally have the worst tie brakes every time. Third! My luck changed! I got third, not bad at all. Paravian passes me, who, whom I beat. How does that work? Isn't there a head-to-head -head tie break? So I beat Paravian and he passes me anyway. Okay, that makes sense. Um, but I got third, I'll take it. By half a point. Yeah, I would have won um, if I beat Undraken, but still, still, I think that's a very good result. It's one of my better results in the last um, couple months. So I'll take the 100 bucks. I think it's 300 or 250, not bad. 